For some young boys like James Rhodes, joining the military seems the best way of making something of themselves. And Rhodey fit right in with his knack for machinery. He got top marks in the army and became a pilot, eventually becoming an expert in aviation engineering and military combat. Then on one fateful mission, his helicopter was shot down. Things didn't look good, but then Iron Man showed up. Turns out Rhodes wasn't the only one in trouble. Tony Stark was stranded without enough power for his suit and asked for his help. The two began an epic adventure that turned them into close friends. Rhodes stepped into the shoes of a superhero and became a man his younger self would be proud of. And being Tony's best bud had some perks, like taking over as Iron Man sometimes. Who wouldn't jump into that suit at the first chance? Next time, baby. And eventually, Tony offered Rhodes a super-powered suit of his very own. That's when regular old James Rhodes became War Machine! Oh yeah, it's like Iron Man but with more guns! Rhodes had spent years trying to find his place in the world. As War Machine, he found a way to truly make something of himself. He already had tons of combat experience from the army and a bit of PTSD, but you know, you win some, you lose some. He can do way more anyway. He is a multi-talented badass. You know, Wiz, maybe I should start taking more of an interest in other parts of Death Battle instead of just focusing on all the cool explosions and death stuff. Oh, so you're gonna help me with research now. <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. And in the meantime, come back next week for the full episode of Genos vs. War Machine. Yeah, research. I'm gonna science me a super suit.